Here's my place. One main place. Yeah, baby. I don't know. I'm scared. No. Portland, Oregon. Here we are. What's going on, everybody? Oregon Motorcycle back today, bringing you another episode coming straight out of Portland, Oregon. You know we are. It's Tuesday. I believe it's August 4th, 2020. We're going to go cruise around downtown Portland and see what's going on. Um, I actually came down here on Friday uh, last week and cruised around a little bit. And uh, dang it, I always do this. And um, kind of drove around a little bit. I've seen a little bit of protesting, seen some destruction and this and that. But I was like doing a vlog and stuff and talking about it. And then when I got home and edited it, um, I didn't like it. So I dumped it. <laughs> it's just, it's something I do. I probably make a video a week that I actually go all the way through the editing process and then don't post it because I don't like it. So um, I try to stay away from anything that's controversial um, or, uh, you know, political or religious or anything like that. Sports. I don't talk about sports because I don't follow sports. But um, those three things turn to, tend to stir the pot a little bit more than I want it stirred. So um, I'll see if I can keep my cool when I'm driving through here. <laughs> So, but anyways, guys, if this is your first time tuning into my channel or it's not, and you're not subscribed, you know what the routine is here. Hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to get to 6,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, which is this year. That date will be on December 31st. And um, it's, it's gonna be a tough goal, guys. So I need all your help. I need each and every one of your help. If you guys are watching the video right now and you're not subscribed, just click the button. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, you guys can help share my videos if you're liking my content and you guys think your friends might be interested in it or your Facebook group might be interested in it. Just uh, hit that little curved arrow there and it's a share button. Then you can copy the link and you can post it on your Facebook group and share it. And that gets me uh, more views and potential subscribers to my channel. And if you guys are liking my videos and liking my content, hit the thumbs up button. It's a like button. It goes a long ways. It helps the videos do better and get more views, which in turn gives me more subs and blah, 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 blah. So it's a big rotating wheel that you guys are part of and you guys can help me. So anyways, um, that's my spiel. And of course, if you guys are interested in any of my my uh, products I make or products that I have on my bike, like these hand grips or my heated grips, sorry, like my hand guards or my heated grips or my USB charger, uh, links to those kind of things are down below in the description. They're all Amazon links. And again, when you guys click on those links and make a purchase, it helps me out. I get a little cut of it. Even if you guys don't buy the product, if you keep the page open um, and buy something else, like you're buying your toilet paper or whatever on there, it, I still get a cut of it. So. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's good for both of us. So anyways, um, Portland, Oregon, Portland, Oregon. Let's see what's going on down here. We're going to drive around downtown and see if there's any more protesting. What I, I heard, what was it? I heard, actually, I heard on Friday after I went through here that, um, that things that kind of cooled down here. Um, and then, then they kind of cool down over the weekend to a little bit. I mean, that's kind of what I'm hearing. I don't really um, hover over the news too much. Although I did hear that there was a lot of shots being fired in Portland over the weekend. Uh, news reporters reporting about shots fired and stuff. And some think that uh, some think that that's a move to try to persuade some of the gun laws here. And, and you know, again, I'm not trying to get into politics or anything. But I can say that Oregon gun laws and knife laws are excellent. And they don't need to be messed with. <laughs> and that's kind of, you know, the gist of that. So, um, but yeah, other than f coming down here Friday, it's been a while since I've, I've been down here. Um, just trying to, you know, hang low. And that's, man, that's a, that mural has like been done in the last couple of days. Uh, because when I drove through on Friday, there was only one section of it done. Now the whole wall's complete. That's kind of cool. So... There's some police right there on bikes. And this is a uh, waterfront park here. It's on the Willamette River. Awesome day. We're, we are, um, I was looking at the forecast today and I mean, <laughs> we're gonna have like, if you like Googled the best weather ever, like that's gonna be Portland for the next couple weeks. Um, we're looking at, uh, 
like high 70s to low 80s with sunshine and just I mean oh it's gonna be awesome can't wait so I got rides planned this weekend uh, my buddy with the 390 Kevin we're already planning some rides for this weekend and in fact I think I'm gonna be going home right now and working on uh, helping my roommate work on and make videos about his 310 he just got a bunch of parts from Revzilla he's got crash bars and levers and uh, hand guards and some other stuff so we might be pecking away with that stuff um, this afternoon so you guys might see some upcoming how-to videos for the 310 GS hopefully pressure washing so cafe um, metro PCS so those doors are open but the buildings still boarded up this building is boarded up but they're open too interesting so it looks like some of the businesses maybe are starting to open back up but keep their their boarded windows going <laughs> for the nighttime I guess I don't know man some of these mural murals are awesome they look sweet there's the courthouse all boarded up with spray paint on it that's kind of uh, disgusting but whatever again I'll try to keep my uh, opinions out of this so this is Pioneer Square here just kind of like the epicenter of downtown There's nothing really going on too crazy down here didn't really expect to see anything going on too crazy we're just putting through on a beautiful Tuesday morning maybe oh they're taking their boards down awesome so yeah maybe uh just maybe. I think they're trying to get back to normal here. Maybe. Maybe. I don't see any boards on these businesses here. So if you come up here, like there's this the statue back there. Here's another statue. So those survived, but the stag statue out here didn't survive because I drove by it on Friday. It was gone. It's actually just a pile of rubble there. I think we'll go see if we can see it right now. What did the stag ever do to you guys, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is like... From what I'm seeing here, besides some of the boarded up buildings and spray paint on the on the walls, I'm seeing pretty much things getting back to normal here, which is great. Pop Belly Sandwich Shop. I think I've heard of that place before. I think I heard it's pretty good. I think. Yeah, baby. Yeah, look at those on point down shifts. Woo! A little blipper action going on right there. <laughs> that little 390 KTM my buddy has has a full on auto blipper on it. I can't. Go KTM, man. Just go KTM. That's freaking rad. You guys put an auto blipper on a budget bike. Um, who else is doing that? <laughs> Oh, here's my place. One main place. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm naming my ranch when I buy it. One main place. Between third and fourth. I'm like right around the corner from the stag statue. I'm trying to show you guys. That's no longer there. I'm not going to see a stag anymore. We're just going to see a pile of rubble. But I figured what the hell. Police. I wonder if this is the police station here, maybe. 
I got that all boarded up. All right, so that place is boarded to hell. What the hell spraying me? Ugh. All right, here's the where the stag statue is. And as you can see, it's become like a memorial now or whatever, so. Um, yeah, this wasn't all here when I came through here Friday, so this has just been done recently. So there you go. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Yeah, it used to be a cool statue. <laughs> now it's just that. And I was just looking right now. Wikipedia already has it that it's been torn down. I guess it was uh, taken down uh, 17th of July this year, 2020. So it's a shame. It happens. It happens. So I'm not seeing any protesting going on here. Um, like I said, when I was here Friday, there was a small group of protesters, like maybe 20. And... Um, I no longer see any of those people here, so um, just a you know boarded up buildings. But I am starting to see some businesses starting to open up and take their boards down. Um, pretty sure that was a police station we drove by a minute ago. That was way boarded up, um, and they don't look like they're opening it up anytime soon. So, <laughs> um, yeah, just spray paint fences and boarded up buildings. Not really a lot of action right now. I'm sure, like I said, I think things are on the downslope now, hopefully. And um, start moving forward. Start getting back to normal. If anybody remembers that word anymore, normal. So, um, But yeah, okay, so the, the little bit of protesting I did see um, was coming right out of this park. I think there were some protesters here in this park. So, um, so yeah, Portland, Oregon. 2020 there's a memorial thing set up over there I wonder if that's another statue they tore down oh there's a cop just sitting there watching people interesting oh there's... man that shit's getting in my eyes what are they spraying I wonder if they're trying to remove the graffiti and stuff well anyways I got it all over my visor now whatever it is so Hopefully the lens is not messed up. I guess we'll cross this bridge. Uh, this might be the steel bridge, maybe. I don't know, it's probably one of those great bridges that I just hate. Yeah, these bridges are funky, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't do. I'm scared, no! Uh. This is, we're crossing the beautiful Willamette River. It's full of fishes, salmon and steelhead and sturgeon, big old dinosaurs. I must be getting used to these steel great bridges because this doesn't feel bad at all to me right now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride through Portland. I'm going to uh, tap out here and say goodbye to you guys and go make more content for you guys because it seems like you guys are really loving it. And if you guys are loving it, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. It goes a long ways. And uh, I'll, I'll see you guys on the next video. So until next time, Oregon Motorcycle, baby. Woo!